So what do you get when you cross America's hottest up-and-coming chefs? With this country's most innovative brewers. It's a new series that not only turns up the heat in the kitchen, but adds a whole lot of fun and good cheer to cooking with beer. This is Hop Chef. I'm Teddy Folkman, host of Hop Chef. I'm an executive chef, restaurateur, I've appeared on the next Food Network star, and I even threw down against Bobby Flay and beat him in a mole freak challenge. Take all that and cross it with my extreme passion and knowledge of craft beer, and you can be sure if you're competing against me, you better bring it. In order to be given the title of America's Hop Chef, you're gonna have to go through me first, and I promise you, that's not gonna be easy. Yes. So, what is Hop Chef? For centuries, beer has been enjoyed alongside many foods in many great establishments throughout the country. That's why we're creating a television series that celebrates America's love of great food with great beer. I think beer and food go so well together because brewers are now producing with a complexity of different flavors and spices, and chefs have been striving to create flavorful dishes with that same balance and complexity in mind. Beer can go in a million different directions. It's inherently just way better with food than wine will ever be. Hop Chef will take you to locations all over the country where chefs from each city will be chosen to compete for the title of America's Hop Chef. All right, so here's the lowdown. Our chefs are gonna have to create a unique and creatively compelling dish. Now that's the easy part. Any old cooking show does that. Our chefs are gonna have to draw their inspiration from the world of craft beer. In each location, we'll pair them with a local brewery and a local beer. It's their job, their challenge, to create a dish that's inspired by, features, mimics, compliments, or tells a story about beer. The chef that does that the best will have their dish judged against mine. It will then be up to the judges to decide if the winning dish has what it takes to beat my dish. If it does, he or she will be that city's chosen top chef. I think there are certain chefs that pair better with certain breweries, and I think there are certain breweries that would never work with certain chefs. I think that um, it's a matching of personalities, it's a match matching of, you know, of artists. It will be interesting to see how the chefs do react to the product or beer that they're working with, because if they have a fantastic product and they screw up, it's on them. They'll have to work together for better. Uh, all breweries are not created equal, and without naming names, I can tell you that there's some that just won't work with my, my food. I'm brash, I am hard, I am intense, and that's what the beers need to be. Or, for worse. Look, I'm not gonna lie, okay? Uh, not every chef in this city is my favorite. I definitely wanna make sure that whoever has our product in their hands when they're crafting these, these food recipes uh, definitely knows what they're doing. But the fun doesn't stop there. Let's not forget about our judges. Each judging panel will feature three key experts. Two of them will be leaders in the food and drink community, and the third, a local wildcard judge to drive that episode's theme given to the competitors at the top of each show. Yup, wildcard judge. Say we head to New York City, picture it. Restaurant tour Jeffrey Zakarian sitting next to editor Todd Coleman of Savor Magazine, sharing a killer meal with Jimmy Fallon, or savoring sweetbreads with Zach Galifianakis, or even tasting tacos with Tina Fey. The third wild card judge will be representing their city, their craft, in this case comedy, and their love of food. And believe me, they will not be easy to please. So, what are our chefs competing for? A chance to compete for the National Hop Chef Crown at Belgium Comes to Cooperstown, Brewery Omegang's one-of-a-kind beer and food festival. The winner, of course, will come back to defend their title in season two against a new wave of hungry beer-savvy chefs. A spot on Savor Magazine's Tastemakers Board, a spotlight at Star Chef's International Chefs Congress, and no competition is complete without a cash prize. Our winner will take home $10,000. It's the ultimate competition food show, the first of its kind to incorporate America's passion for pairing great beer with great food. So you think you have what it takes to be the next top chef? Well, you'll have to go through me first for that title. Let the beer and food pairing games begin.